Our next paper is femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery in pediatric Marfan syndrome with ectopia lymphus. Dr. Schultz. So our case is a 10-year-old boy with Marfan syndrome and ectopia lentis in both eyes and was scheduled for cataract surgery in the right eye. The best corrected visual acuity was 0.2 in this right eye. We found no other comorbidities in this eye and he had a positive family history. So as you all know, the challenges in pediatric cataract surgery are the pediatric anatomy with a small lid and a tight orbit, the ectopia of the lens and the decentration of the lens, the high elasticity of the lens capsule, and the elongate weak zonules. So we decided to perform the surgery with help of the image guided femtosecond laser. Our system is a catalyst which is a precision laser system from AMO. So after docking, we performed the surgery in general anesthesia in a sterile environment in the operating area. We docked the infant to the system, and you can see here the image of the infrared camera. And it is able to position the capsulotomy within the 30.5 millimeters of the interface. The only thing we had to do was um, to position the capsulotomy as a, the pupil a little bit outside of the iris because there is an integrated safety zone of 500 microns and yeah, we cheated the system to get as close as possible to the center of the lens. In the 3D spectral domain OCT, you can see that the lens was decentered temporarily in the axial view and separately in the sagittal view. Then we performed the treatment and we were able to remove the capsule with the forceps and used irrigation aspiration to remove the lens. And the next step is the only ring for Morpha in Stuttgart, Germany was implanted and this picture is a good example to show the resistance of the capsule because it is lying into the capsule ring. In the next step, the capsule ring was sutured to the sclera at the four o'clock position and so the whole capsule that was positioned in the middle of the eye. As the last step, an eye well was implanted and the incisions were hydrated. Seven days after surgery, we had a very good result. And you can see that we have the well centered capsulotomy and the eye well, and in the four o'clock position, the only ring that's sutured. The corrected distance visual acuity after surgery was 0.8, and we have now a follow up of 11 months of this infant, and we did both eyes and had no complication yet. In conclusion, the femtosecond laser has great potential to help in pediatric Marfan syndrome and especially in the capsulotomy we have the chance to overcome the challenges, especially the great elasticity of the capsule and the changing force vectors during performing manual capsulotomy. Summarized, the femtosecond laser allows a safe, stretchable, circular well-positioned capsulotomy with a pre-programmed diameter. So thank you for your attention.